now let's head to 2-2. Two, two. We're going to be able to find the Great Axe here, and we're also going to be able to unlock a really good healing supply spender by helping Patches out. Head left at this first crossroad, then head down this lift. Now head this way through this tunnel. Oh, you're not mad, you're mad. Uh-uh. Well, who'd have thought it? Bear bugs! My apologies. Yeah. You! Now Patches will appear in the Nexus. The Great Axe is over here on top of this ledge. And there's one more merchant in this room that sells important materials. Over here. If you go down, <laughs> so this guy will sell shards of hearthstone like the vendor in 2 1, but he also sells large hearthstone shards, which we will need to upgrade our great axe to plus six. All right, we need three things in order to get the dozer axe we need to upgrade our great axe to plus six. We need to defeat the mini boss in 4 1. And we need to defeat the flame lurker in 2 2. Because you need to give the flame lurker soul to a blacksmith in order to upgrade weapons into boss weapons. Let's take on the tutorial mini boss, Vanguard. Great Demon Soul. We'll use this to upgrade our Great Axe to the Dozer Axe. Alright, let's finish this upgrade. Now we need to kill the Flame Lurker, one of the hardest bosses in the game, and we'll be able to get the weapon. It's definitely possible, but it is pretty hard. I'm going to take off my Kling Ring and put on the Ring of Flame Resistance that I got from Patches, just so I can conserve some healing supplies during this fight. You want to look for certain attacks. You can attack on his one-handed smash on the counter-attack. Don't get too greedy. Just take one swipe. And you can punch that one as well.
just make sure you don't get backed up into the wall. And once it gets really low health, his movements become extremely unpredictable. So when that happens, you want to be really careful. And you only want to attack off of his jumping attacks. Oh, I got greedy there. Yeah, he's super unpredictable in the second half. You want to try to stay somewhat close to him, because when he does his jumping attack, you can roll forward and dodge it. I just did it there. Oh no, I shouldn't have attacked twice. Ring really helps though. Let's go. First try. I got pretty lucky though, but. Yeah, you just have to fight him in a certain way if you're a melee build. If you're a magic build, it'll be a lot easier. Alright, let's go to 2-1. So we can give the Flame Lurker Soul to a blacksmith that can use it. Okay, come up to this guy and then take this lift down. Then you have to talk to this guy until his dialogue is exhausted. You need a blacksmith, show me some You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith head. Bring me a demon soul. I shall use it to bless your weapon. Well done. You only need 20 strength to two-hand the dozer axe. I'm not going to get any more strength because this weapon has no scaling. And investing 10 more points into strength just to one-hand it is a waste. I'm going to put the rest of my points into Vitality and Endurance, 